Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, make sure to check the description below the video for the links to our giveaway. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you enter the giveaway or you cannot claim your prize. So guys, what we're going to do today, well, we are bringing back the weekly real story review to the channel. I actually plan, uh, original plan to bring that back as a live stream event. But man, with the new shallow and trying to push those floors as high as possible, I just don't have time to do it on the streams anymore. Also, if you come on the stream, you want to get your real story review reviewed on the spot. And you give me a super chat or you sponsor the channel, I will check you. Uh, but for the free roster review, people don't want to pay me, which it's totally perfect, guys. Well, we have this weekly video that is uh, coming back. It's most likely going to be every Thursday, guys. Every Thursday. So, roster review. Now, how do you enter for the roster review? It's pretty simple, guys. You go in the description below the video. Uh, you have the Discord to the. Uh, do you have the link to the Discord channel? You go there. That'll bring you right here. So once you join the Discord server, you go on the you know the channel list on the left side. You go into MFF Roaster Review. You type your IG in with your question. And every Thursday, I check everybody else. Well, everybody, not everybody else, but everybody. And then uh, that's pretty much our work. So with that said, guys. Let's get started with our first roster review here, Mr. Turret number 6. I need a little help with my cards. I need Iron Max HP and all attack. IGN is blah 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 blah. Uh, let's go here. Let's paste that IGN. And let's take a quick look at those cards. So, we're going to have to check all cards effect here. Max HP is effectively very, very, very low. Uh, that needs to be fixed. Uh, a good way to actually fix that will be here. Just replace this card here with the Nibula card. A uh, Nibula card is going to give you uh, very good stats. If we go see that Nibula card here, uh, we're going to find it first. That's the one, I think. Yeah. Max HP and Ingor Defense. Uh, you can have uh, all attack on it. You can have attack speed on it or cooldown duration, depending what you need the most. Uh, critical damage or recovery rate. And critical rate or energy attack here. So it's a very, very good, uh, one of the best free-to-play uh, max HP cards, to be honest. So by putting that on your roster, and um, my recommendation is to drop a little bit of cooldown and use that uh, attack speed option on it. So you can get your attack speed a little bit higher. So that will pretty much give you um, pretty good stats. Pretty good stats. I think that will be the perfect cards to actually uh, give you a little bit more uh, max HP. And if we look at your other cards here. This card, not a big fan. It will be better if you actually get a new Loki card. Well, not a big fan of the role you got on it. And get Ingor Defense and Energy Attack. That will be a, a big, big, big uh, boost here. This card is good. Uh, this card is okay, and this card is good. So it's really this card to replace this card with the card I told you, and uh, if you can build a new Loki card with energy attack and your defense on it, that will be pretty good. But that's pretty much what you can do with your cards with what you have right now until you can get another, you know, maybe uh, a premium card that has max HP on it. That will be the your next option to replace that Loki card, pretty much. And that is it for you, Mr. 6436444. Now that we review this one, we're going to remove him from the list and move to the next one. Next one, we have Stomega Roaster Review in game name is Stomega Wall Boss Ultimate PvP ABX Native Tier 2. Next tier 2 paywall cards, etc. Next uniform. Man, that's a lot of questions, but we're going to do our best to cover as much as it. But we're not going to cover everything because that will take like an hour to cover everything that's listed there. Which uh, we don't want it to be that long, obviously. So we're going with Stomega next. Already friend. Damn, I really have no life being friend with this guy. It's just a joke, by the way, guys. Okay, so let's find this fella here. Oh, here we go. 
here we go so first the cards the cards the cards the cards the cards are getting better finally still mega still go still go work on cooldown duration and attack speed but and you gotta work on your rolls here that's for sure uh, this card the rolls are terrible you need to re-roll this card till you get um let's see let's see i want to see the perfect bonus option on this one um gwenpool where are you girl where are you i wish we can actually just type the name of the card and it's just pop in your face that'll be so awesome okay that's the one so we got um we got that here uh here you want to have critical damage as first option you want to have a cooldown as second option you want to have attack speed as third option you want to have in your defense as the last option uh with the what's your card to what's your your uh cards effect you have right now that's what you have want to have on this card then you have this card this card you have you want to have in your defense or attack speed with energy attack this card you need to reroll that bonus option to get something much 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 more useful than that same thing with this one and this cards need to be replaced with the punisher 19 cards uh and you want to roll cooldown on that punisher 19 card it's really uh bonus options are so important it's not just putting cards there you know with as good stats good two stats on it it's really about rolling the best possible bonus option so if you don't do that with your cards you're gonna suck in this game and that's not in a mean way i mean it it's just you're gonna totally suck if you don't have good cards and good bonus option on your cards now if we look at your roster what we got here your next tier three should be luna snow dan deadpool that is for sure without a single doubt so deadpool uh, and luna snow are your next two uh tier three uh, if we look at the rest here let's see if we're missing a good uniform or a tier two going down slowly that's always the, the hardest part yeah this girl needs to go up fast man she's the best tier three in the game so she needs to be done as soon as possible and uh, next tier two native um you don't really have a tier two native to work on maybe a doom for pvp but that's pretty much it okay here you don't you don't have the uniform for her so we're not going to talk about her let's scroll down again uh white fox white fox will be your next tier two uh without a doubt white fox is amazing tier two uh ronan she'll be on your list to be a new t a tier two two uh uniform i don't really see uh, oh yeah my recommendation buy the ant-man package and get this Goliath uniform uh the pimtron uniform get it to mythical and get your ctp of rage for free man 2600 crystal plus the uniform with sun cell at 750 crystal and then get it to mythical and go claim your uh, ctp of rage from uh, the legendary battle ant-man that's for sure uh, that's one thing you gotta do ctp of rage is one of the best thing in the game and so that's pretty much what I see for your account right now. Focusing on Alliance Battle Extreme or Wall Boss Ultimate is completely wrong right now. You need to build your cards and you need to get those characters I just told you. Then after that, once your cards are set up, we can actually start to looking at building you for uh, for more uh, focused content like uh, Wall Boss Ultimate and Alliance Battle Extreme or Alliance Conquest and all that. But you gotta fix those cards first. Uh, that's very 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 important so let's move to the next one so we can remove a stomega here stomega bye bye bro oh and by the way you got all the paywall characters you actually need right now so rest rest to do with your paywall is pretty much what you want to do uh pretty easy uh next one we have managed uh, g v f v h cards and what else, what else i need and do i need mega tier 2 or safe crystal the mega tier 2 honestly it's totally up to you uh, if you if you want a mega tier 2 you get it if you don't want it you don't get it it's that simple uh, if you get it and there's a big meta uh, tier 2 that gets released uh, it's good for you um well a meta a paywall meta i mean not tier 2 
that gets released you get mega a uh, tier 2 ticket to actually uh, get it up as fast as possible but if you're patient the mega tier 2 ticket is a waste because you will eventually get the character by getting the bio subs anyway so it's really up to you if you want to get that mega or not i know that me as a, as a youtuber if i have megas is a huge advantage for me so i can bring the videos out faster but for a regular player it's really depend on are you to the competitive point that you actually need to have that character uh, to tier 2 as soon as possible? If the answer is no, well, the mega tier 2 is always a crystal for you. Okay, so we're going to start with the cards here. All cards affect attack speed needs work. Cooldown could use a little bit of work too. Okay, so attack speed and cooldown. So let's take a look at those cards. Uh, first card I actually remove will be this one. You don't need that that all attack if you don't have the stats to go with it so my first move here uh, will actually go with the Punisher 19 cards we're gonna show it right now right here uh, Punisher we're gonna find it first oh right there so you get in your defense attack speed very good uh, third option you get critical damage or max HP uh, four option you get cooldown duration fix your cooldown there fifth option you don't have much in six option you have all attack so you can get all attack cooldown uh with critical damage or max hp and attack speed in your defense one of the best free to play cards on the market right now guys so um i will actually put that card instead of your uh, civil war number four cards that civil war number four cards is overrated anymore uh it used to be good well people used to look at it like uh, attack was so important but attack is not very really that important it's more your attack speed your ingor defense your max hp uh, your cooldown those are the four more important stats in my opinion right now so yes attack you need to have some attack on your cards but it's not as important as those those other stats like you can have 80 percent uh, energy attack on your cards but you run with zero percent attack speed your cable is going to suck hard but if you have uh, your attack speed cap with about 15% of your cards, you're in your defense there, you cool down there, well, your cable, even if you have like 35-40% energy attack, your cable is going to kick ass. So it's really about the balance and making sure you reach those cap. So let's check those other cards. These cards need a better level, man. A better level. When you get like a few mythical cards in bank, you can start reloading this card so you get like at least grade 3 with all attack on it. Then we have this card. This card is it's okay. Uh, these cards need to be rerolled. Well, you can build another Loki cards to get in your defense or attack speed on it. Um, I ignore defense is fine. Uh, and uh, energy attack on it. You just have too many uh, trash stats on this card. So you need to have in your defense and energy attack at least. Then you have that last card. Last card is pretty fine. It's a pretty fine for me. So it's really about changing that card with the Punisher 19 and put cooldown on it. That will um, kind of fix your stats in my opinion. Um, that will give you your cap for cooldown duration. It will get you around 13, between 13 and 16 percent attack speed. It will get your ingoing defense a little bit higher and your energy and your attack uh stats will still be pretty fine so that's what i will do right now if i were you now your other question yes tier two okay that's done then we're going to look your roster real fast here see uh, who shall be your next tier three next tier three shall be luna snow i see you working on it so you're doing your job you shall be getting the uniform for deadpool it's a huge boost for that fella now if we look uh oh man and uh, this one i'm uh Wait for end game for this one, but uh, Deadpool uniform is a must. It is a must. Cable uniform is a must. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, next, Minerva uniform is a must. Now let's stop focusing on uniform and let's go see uh, characters that could get to tier two. Tier Angel at tier two is a real, real huge boost. Um, Let's see what else. 
well well we're gonna make sure we don't give you too much stuff that uh, doesn't need to be done you need to get this guy to tier 2 uh, I don't know if you have Nick Fury and not pay attention but Nick Fury needs to get to tier 2 too victorious tier 2 a lot of work to do with your paywall man that's for sure but yeah and that's pretty much it for uh, your roster right now so work on those things and uh, well when you get more to ask you come back and ask more uh, my friend Manish, so this other one is done, we're going to move to the next one, which is Abuser, Cards and Character Review, cool story bro, I'm trying to copy your name here, give me a sec, it, it, it's painful sometimes, let's see, let's see, and there we go, okay cards, let's see what to do with your cards. Your cards do need a lot of work. Yeah, you got no cooldown. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you five cards to work on. Those are going to be your five first cards to put here. And none of them are here right now. So the number one cards here, let's go in the collection. It's going to be easier to find them. So, okay, number one cards, you need to have a low key card. Um, don't really care about the stats you're going to have on it right now because you're still new, you're still building cards, you don't have mythical cards, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what you actually want to do is put that Loki card first, then you want to have that Marvel Zombie card here. That's the second card. The third card you actually want is... I gotta find it. I gotta find it. It's actually the Punisher 19 card. I probably passed it. Yeah, it's right here. Punisher 19 card shall be card number 3. Uh, card number 4 shall be the Secrets War 2099 uh, limb variant here. And the last card, the last card shall actually be the Nebula card. I don't know if she's actually on the list. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I don't think she's on the list. So let's go uh, find it. We had it earlier. We gotta find it again. Uh, where is he? There we go. That's the card. That's the fifth card. So you want to go uh, a recap. Loki card I showed. The Marvel Zombie cards. The Punisher 19 cards. The Secrets War 2099 limb variant. And the Nebula cards. Well, the Avenger 318 cards. Uh, by saying those five cards, you're going to get your basic stats a lot better right off the bat. And that will help you a lot on the long haul. That's for sure. Now, characters, your first uh, first tier 2 should be uh, Minerva. Uh, if you can get her uniform, it's a must too. Uh, Minerva is a character that covers the most ground in the game. Uh, my top 5 characters to start with to get to tier 2 as soon as possible. Minerva, number 1. Sharon, well, and even if you don't have the uniform, she's still number 1. Uh, then you have Sharon Rogers, but you need the last uniform for her. Then you have Korat, you have uh, Morgan Le Fay, and then you have uh, the other one, Iron Armor. Those are my top five characters to get up there as soon as possible. They will cover so much ground in the game for you that will help you progress so much faster. And your first paywall character, uh, when you get your first paywall selector, uh, Luna Snow. I don't know if you got you pick uh, you pick uh, this guy, huh? That's not a good guy. Uh, we're gonna get uh, hopefully we get another <laughs> paywall selector. If we do, uh, or if you get paywall bio sub, you need to go with Luna Snow. Even at tier one, she is a total beast, and very useful. So that's pretty much what you want to focus on right now. A recap here, recap paywall Luna Snow, nothing else. Then if we go in five top three to play characters, it's Minerva, Sharon Rogers, Korat, Morgan, Le Fay, and um, I forgot the other one, no, Aaron Armor. Those are the top five free to play characters in the game uh, for no new player right now. So that's pretty much for you, Abuser, and fully that's helping you uh, progress. Make sure uh, to check my beginner guides on my YouTube channel too to help you uh, improve better. Next, we have one last roster review here, guys, to do. Let's go in with Tony Ironman 3. Tony Ironman 3. What was the question here? 
to check my cards, my character, Obelisk, and Ezo Set. I don't really check Obelisk and Ezo Set because it's literally depending on what you're actually building. Uh, that for those specific questions, guys, just feel free to post on the chat here. Uh, post your uh, characters and tell me what you're looking for, uh, how to improve that characters, and what Obelisk should I put on those characters, and I will help you. It will be much easier to do that. But for the roster review, I like to keep it simple. You know, cards, next tier 2, next tier 3, next 6 stars, next native tier 2. You know, questions like that are very easy uh, and quick to actually answer. So cards, and we'll check what characters you actually need to improve next. So cards here, cards effect. And our cards effect is actually not that bad considering your cards you have equipped. But you gotta improve that. You gotta improve that. So this card. This card is good. You can actually reroll this card, build a new, another Logi card, so you can get that in your defense energy attack on it. Then you got this card. This card is good. Uh, bonus options are actually decent. You got cooldown and max HP. I'll say keep that like that. This card is trash. Uh, I will actually replace this card. Oh, you cooldown. And your cooldown needs. Mm, actually, I go with the Punisher 19 cards here. And you can actually get a cooldown as bonus option on it. And that will pretty much fix your attack speed, keep you in your defense at all, and give you the extra, uh, uh, well, keep you with the cooldown you actually already have. So that will be good for that. Then here you have this card. This card is actually pretty, pretty decent right now. Uh, pretty decent. It will be a little bit better if you have attack speed on it, but that's totally fine. And you have this card. This card good for now, but... I do recommend getting you, uh, uh, probably the Nebula card will be my best pick here because you get that max HP uh, and in your defense on it, which is very, very, very useful. So uh, you get two cards to change, a few cards to uh, reroll to make your card a little bit better. Now if we go on your tier 3, well on your, on your roster, first tier 3 should be, uh, okay, Luna is not an option, so... Uh, if your first tier, next tier three actually should be Deadpool. You want to get his uniform too. Uh, if we look at other stuff, this guy could use uniform. This girl need uniform. This girl needs uniform too. Um, um, no really of tier two to work on. That's for sure. Uh, next tier two, next tier two Minerva. Minerva needs to be up at tier two. That's for sure. Um. Let's see who else could use the love of the upgrading here. Uh, Loki at tier 2 with uh, uniform is actually a, a very, very, very strong guy there. Uh, Warpath, amazing free to play character to get uh, to tier 2. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hila, just to tier 1 to get the benefit of her mastery, is uh, very useful. Especially in Shadowlands, so that's pretty much what I will work on right now. Those characters, uh, upgrade them like heal at six stars. The other one at tier two, like Minerva and the whatever uh, else I said to tier two, uh, Korat to tier two, too. So Korat, Minerva to tier two. Um, uh, I don't remember who else I said. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this. So those characters I just said to tier two, um, tier three, like I said, Deadpool with uniform, uh, it will give you a big boost to your account. So guys, that's pretty much all the roster review we have for today's video. Now guys, I repeat, if you actually want to get your roster reviewed, go in the description below the video, click on the Discord link, get on the Discord, go on the MFF roster review channel. Don't pass in chat because you won't get reviewed. Going into the MFF Roaster Review channel, post your IGN with your question, and then every Thursday I will re review all the other requests there. Now, those reviews are general, guys. Uh, cards, next characters to rank up, that kind of stuff. If you need specific, if you have specific question about specific characters, post in chat. Tag me. Uh, you know, uh, to tag me, all you need to do is Arabas, my name, space, then you actually, like, like that here, star, star co, type your question with your screenshot, if you have a screenshot, and then uh, either me or somebody else in the chat is going to go back, come to you, 
and help you with your decision. We have a lot of people, uh, a lot of very helpful people on this Discord server that's helping people all the time and that's the way to go if you have specific question about specific characters but for the basic question cards next tier three next tier two next six stars next uniform um that can be covered in the mff roster review channel guys so guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like this content to share your support guys and on that star agent starco gaming is out